Welcome to Credit Matters. I am Larry Witte, Senior Director with S&P Global Fixed Income Research. The South Atlantic region consists of eight states and the District of Columbia, stretching from Maryland to Florida. The region contains 2,532 ratings, led by Florida's 801. All states except Florida and West Virginia have at least half of the ratings in the AA category or higher. Virginia and South Carolina lead North Carolina, Georgia, and West Virginia, each of which has at least 90% of the ratings and in at least the A category. The percentage of speculative grade ratings in the South Atlantic region is lower than for U.S. public finance overall, and the region has a lower concentration of charter school ratings than nationally. Florida recorded 251 upgrades from January 1, 2017 to June 30, 2018, more than the other states in the region combined. However, nearly two-thirds of the upgrades were the result of criteria changes. With the boost from criteria revisions, Florida posted an upgrade to downgrade ratio of 12 to 1, and 31% of ratings in the state were upgraded during that period. Other states recorded significantly more upgrades than downgrades, but at a much smaller scale. Virginia had 23 upgrades and no downgrades, and Maryland and West Virginia had at least four times as many upgrades as downgrades. Florida, Georgia, Maryland, and the Carolinas were the only states to have rating changes triggered by the economy or real estate market. Florida also had eight upgrades for real estate reasons. Only ratings in the District of Columbia and Georgia had less than 95% stable outlooks, which is the average for U.S. public finance. Georgia's 22 negative outlooks include eight on ratings for the Municipal Electric Authority of Georgia. The negative outlooks on those Georgia ratings reflect cost increases on a nuclear power project. Similar issues resulted in downgrade to utility bonds in Georgia and South Carolina. The current distribution of outlooks suggests continued rating stability that the region has experienced outside of criteria revisions. Economic factors could modestly support ratings in the future. As mentioned earlier, economic factors triggered some upgrades, but not a significant number in any state. Florida's 14 upgrades from the economy or real estate market led to all states, led all states in the region, which together totaled 23 upgrades. IHS market projects that Florida's gross state product and employment growth will surpass that of the country through 2021. IHS says Florida's housing starts will rank second nationally. South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia are ranked 10th, 11th, and 12th for the percent employment growth through the third quarter of 2019. For more information, please read our snapshot of South Atlantic Regional Ratings in U.S. Public Finance on Capital IQ. And thank you for watching.